Hello, today we are going to discuss about some of the important theories on maths. Let's discuss this. Indices. About indices, you know that if they have been 3 to the power 4, 3 to the power 4, you have to find the value of 2, 3 to the power 4. Then what we should do, find the value of 3 to the power 4. 3 to the power 4 is 3 times, 3 times, 3 times 3. There should be four threes. Three times three nine. Nine times three twenty seven. Twenty seven times three eighty one. Like that. Right? And also, you remember any number to the power of zero, it is one. But any number to the power of that means three to the power of zero is one. Any number to the power of zero, one. Any number to the power of one, it is. The number itself but here a should not be equal to zero in this case any number to the power of one the number itself three to the power of one is three right these are the very important thing you are dealing with these indices right <coughs> the important things uh, you have to take it into your mind is you know one meter what is the uh, value of one meter in centimeters one meter equals 100 centimeters hmm? one centimeter equals 10 millimeters very important thing. Right? <coughs> then um, if you have given a circle like this <coughs> you want to find the circumference of the circle where the radius is r circumference is the length of the curve line so circumference of a circle is given by 2 5 r we have to remember this very important r is the radius and the other important thing regarding the straight lines in on a Cartesian plane right we given a straight line like this the equation of the straight line is given by y equals mx plus c here m is the gradient gradient C is the intercept. Intercept. <coughs> this is the standard format of the equation of the straight line. <coughs> now, <coughs> factorization. Do you know about factorization? Factorization is like this. <coughs> If we have given this kind of equation, mm -hmm. quadratic equation, mm -hmm. these are the two factors. How would you find the solution of this quadratic equation? Here you write like this. If the product of two factors equal to zero, either one of them should be equal to zero. Right? So x minus 4 equal to zero or x plus 5 should be equal to 0 is more then this is and simple this is a simple equation you can find the solution x equals 4 this is also a simple equation you can find the solution x minus 4 therefore x plus 4 or x minus 4 are the two answers <laughs> then regarding try uh, trigonometry about a right angle triangle if you take a right angle triangle like this you can introduce you can introduce uh, trigonometric ratios for this kind of right angle triangle this is the opposite side of x angle this is the adjacent side this is this is adjacent side this is hypotenuse then sine x sine x is equal to Opposite side upon hypotenuse cos x equals adjacent side divided by hypotenuse tan x equals opposite side divided by adjacent side. <coughs> and also you can use Pythagoras relation, remember that. For this kind of right angle triangle 
suppose that they have given an example for this. They have given if cos x equals 3 fourth, then you have to find uh, sine x. Find sine x. How do you answer this kind of question? You may draw a right angle triangle. X. This is a right angle triangle. Let's take this angle as x. Cos theta. Cos x is given as 3 fourth. Cos cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse therefore adjacent side sh shall we take it as 3 hypotenuse it should be 4 then then you can apply by the relation for this right angle triangle and find this length right according to by the relation right let's take this one as m the length of this unknown side then m then by applying hypothesis relationship 4 squared hypotenuse squared equals 3 squared plus sum of squares of other two sides m squared hypotenuse squared equals by sum of squares of other two sides according to the Pythagoras relation so m squared equals 15 minus 9 it is 7 right Then m squared equals 7, therefore m equals square root of 7. Square root of 7. Then you can find sine x. Sine x is opposite upon hypotenuse. Opposite here is m. m is square root 7. Square root 7 upon hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is 4. This is the answer. Then, <clears throat> regarding percentages, how do you calculate this percent of 400? Then, the calculation should be 6%. 6% can be written as a fraction. This is a percentage. Percentage can be written as a fraction like 6 upon 100. Of this multiplication, you know, 400. Two zeros, two zeros can be cancelled out with this multiplication. Four times six is twenty-four. Like this, we can do this. <clears throat> then, how do you write thirty percent as a fraction? Hmm. Thirty percent as a fraction. Thirty percent can be written as thirty upon hundred. This is as a fraction. How do you write it as a decimal? Thirty percent as a as a fraction here as a decimal. 30% mm -hmm. is equal to 30 upon 100. Now you can convert it into a decimal by dividing 30 by 100. Zero, two zeros are there in 100. Therefore, you have to shift this decimal place two into the left. Then it will be 0 0.3. This is a decimal now. No. Now we are going to discuss about ratios. <coughs> do you know how to divide 300 uh, according to ratio 1 to uh, 3 to 2? Yes. Here A receives 1, B receives 3 portions, C receives two portions out of this ratio, you are going to divide 300 according to this ratios. Therefore, A is you, it's one sixth, one sixth is the portion, one is the portion, ratio portion, one sixth is the fraction that A is used. One sixth of 300 should be calculated, then it is 50 amount that we receive equals 3 out of 6. Total number of portions is 6 here. And total, this is total number of portions. That's why I put here 6 as a fact and denominator. When you are writing this portion of B as a fraction, 6, 
3 out of 6 then into the total amount. This is the total amount which has been divided. Then this is 150. If you want to calculate the amount received by C, the fraction should be 2 out of 6 total amount, right? Then it is 2 sixth of 300. Then it is 2. It is 100. If you add them, you can check by yourself whether you have that correct. 0, 0, yes. 300, yes, you are getting the total amount. So, I discussed some of the important mathematical theories which may be useful for you to answer some questions. Okay, thank you for your participation. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mathematics Pro. That is very important for you to improve your math knowledge. Thank you. See you again. Bye.